Good morning. It is two weeks and a day until I get to Essen. So I'm going to go over the preview today and show you my shortlist. And next week we will give you the top 10 of the hottest games for that. So make sure you stick around, like, subscribe, etc. for that. But let's get into it. If you're not aware of how to get to the previews, they are on the homepage, but you go to browse and then you go to previews. And then you click Spiel Eschen. Here you can also see Gen Con Origins. Um, I asked if they're going to have a PAX one uh, coming up, but I don't know. They have previously. And then you click on this, and it's going to give you everything by publisher one on one. You can sort by the publisher. You can sort by what's hot. Um, however, there is a geek list that has been correlating thumbs, hotness, and the likeness to determine a rank for each of these games. That's what we'll go over next week. For now, though, I'm going to hit filters and show you everything that I have shortlisted. So I'm gonna select those. And these are for demo and for sale. So first off is the expansion to Witchcraft. This is a cute little card game um, with spells and stuff like that. This is a female content cre uh, creator, uh, not content creator, a female designer. Uh, and they also illustrated this as well. So I'm excited to take a look at that. Tatsumi, um, oh wow, there was an image when I started looking at this five minutes ago, it's now no longer an image. So I wonder if what they've updated on their page. Uh, they do have the image here at least. Um, this you're playing as a dragon and you're gonna fly around the board trying to pick up uh, resources, score the resources, or you're gonna shed a scale. Not sure what that shedding a scale mechanic is, but hopefully to take a look at that, um, that's gonna be for demo. Then from Albi Games, we have a toll. This is a, a nice cute little game about building a core ecosystem. It actually has some neat mechanics about um, how the reefs fluctuate um, for their scoring. Um, there's not any images here. However, I do have a couple of things I can show you from the publisher. So this is what the game looks like. There's a bunch of these square cards that represent the different coral reefs. It has all these lovely tokens here. Apparently Google has decided to crash. There we go. It has all these lovely tokens here. So this is a nice little close look. And then there's all of the different scoring mechanics based off of the resources you've managed to put onto your coral reefs uh, and that. Now this is in um, check. So if anybody can read the check, you can actually uh, read the points on there. Uh, that's also going to be up for demo. They told me 50-50 potentially for sale. Um, so it depends if their print arrives in time in Essen. Now they're also releasing Tea Garden. This one is from Thomas Holick. They are on the hotness for Essen this year because their game Seti is, uh, spoiler alert, number one right now. And their game Galileo Galilee, which is number three right now. And then Tea Garden here, I don't know what its rank is currently, but they have three games coming out at Essen and they are not to be missed. This will probably find some Canadian distribution. However, it does not currently have it. On to AEG. They just released Nocturne. This is available here in Canada already. Uh, it's just a cute little game. Want to check out? Uh, I'm not going to buy it there. Uh, that's it, could, it is available here. Undergrove, Elizabeth Hargrave, another female board game designer. Definitely want to support that and check that out. Cool little game with tiles and mushrooms uh, where you're going to point your components around. This was in my components video, so make sure you give that a check out. Waffle Time, just a cute little party game about making waffles. Ada's Dream, I love the concept of um, but more board games that are focusing on women themselves. So this one I want to take a look at. However, the mechanics in here involve a lot of math, which kind of makes sense. It is a computer-oriented game, uh, and we do that, although I do software for a living, so I don't know if I want to do it as a board game, uh, but I want to check that out. Station to Station, however, is another cute little game. I love train games. Um, and this is a kind of pick up and deliver type of game. Um, they haven't released many images yet of it as well. Um, however, uh, the Dice Tower covered this a little bit as well. And so I'm excited to check that out. From All Play, they have a couple of uh, small games here that I want to check out, Fairy and Prey. Both of these are available here in Canada already. Uh, so I just want to have a chance to play them and see what they're like uh, before I decide to buy them. River Valley Glassworks, I have played. Um, I played the deluxe version and I've seen the retail version. Uh, this is one of those games where the deluxe version, you don't really need it. Uh, the retail one will do just fine. Um, how, so I do want to see if that comes to Canada. 
um, because the price tag in euros and the price tag to get it from their American store is still too high. From a Porta Games, I love a Porta Games. They did um, The Magnificent a while ago, I believe. Um, and I love that game. And so they've come out with Salt Board. This is another popular game. So I want to give that a check out. From Arcane Wonders, I love Foundations of Rome. So they have Foundations of Metropolis, which is their cardboard version. So you don't have to go through all of that stuff there. Craft Wagon is a re-implementation of an older game that I've never even heard of. Um, I liked Kanban, and this is another kind of game about making cars, another heavy Euro. So I want to give that a check out. Medzin is another abstract pattern laying game. I want to check that one out as well. From Arclight Games, this is a Japanese uh, game company. I always love checking out the Southeast Asia uh, and Asia type of region games because we do not get those in Canada very often and they are producing some great stuff. So Cat Tower is a dexterity game where you are placing like a card. It's like when you use playing cards and make a house of cards, you're making a house of cards and you're placing cats on them and you're trying not to destroy the house. Rika is a Mahjong style game and the traditional Mahjong, not that Saturn selecting one game that you play on there has really cool looking uh, domino type tiles. Uh, they might be thick Mahjong type tiles, not entirely sure, but you're going to be trying to make fireworks displays. So I want to give that a check out. From Aries Games, there is a new Martin Wallace game. Don't know anything about it yet. I just know that it's Martin Wallace, so I want to check it out. Alte is a new civilization game. This one just had some cool little artwork, but it's combining deck building and kingdom building. Uh, so this one here has some cute artwork going on. Uh, so I want to check out what this is all about. From Below's Intent Age Contrived. Uh, I think they're releasing an expansion at Essen as well. But this is also something that I just want to check out based off of the look of it. <laughs> so there we go. From Birdwood Games, I liked Dog Park. They've got a new expansion called New Tricks. However, I'm more excited for Forever Home, their new game. Uh, Dog Park uh, was here through Kickstarter, so I might buy this if I like it. This is one of the ones that I'm iffy on because I don't know if it's coming to Canada or not. From Board and Dice, they have Minos, which is a big, heavy Euro. I like Board and Dice's games, but they do tend to be on the heavy side with a lot of setup, so they don't get played as often. Windmill Valley was also on my components list, so that one I want to give a check out too. From Bombix, Takenoko Color. This is a roll and write style game. This is on my innovative mechanics list. So give that one to check out over there. Cortisons, I just bought a copy. It's coming in next week, but this has a cool little fabric board. Uh, and it's just a nice, quick, simple game. And it's a smaller box game. I've really been looking for smaller box games lately so that I can travel around to different events in the city with, uh, with games that are more than party games, right? However, speaking of party games, Chonker is a party game. Chonker Party, this just has adorable fat animal artwork on it. Um, so I want to give that a check out. From Combo Games, they have Keyframes. This one's on the list because Isra and she did White Castle and Red Cathedral and Flat Iron that's on the list later. So I want to check that out. It doesn't look as appealing as their other games for me, but I still want to give it a play to see what it's all about. From Cranio Creations, these are also already in Canada uh, or pre-ordered in Canada. Beyond the Horizon, neat artwork uh, about just building out a society. Another kind of uh, tile placement, laying game. Building out. It's another little heavy euro, but it's a little bit of a smaller box with a heavy, heavy-ish euro in there. They said, what? Yeah, three and a half. It's a heavy euro. Mesos, a not as heavy thing. This is more of a card related game. This box might be too big for the cards. I can't tell if it's like one of those smaller box games or if it's a bigger standard size box. Uh, but beautiful artwork. Uh, another card laying game you want to check out. Seti, once again, this is Tomas. They have three huge games coming out at Essen. They are kind of the hotness. Uh, so I just want to give that a check out. Not so much of the sci-fi fan. So there. In Tarzia, I have pre-ordered. I would love to play it. Uh, make sure I want to continue that pre-order. However, I think I do. This is in my awesome components list. From Devere, I'm loving all of their lines of games. I have a bunch of them coming next weekend as well. But we're going to check out Cities, Datoshi, and the expansion to White Castle at their booth. Uh, don't know much about any of the games. Just want to check them out because it's Devere. From DLP Games, Atlantis. This one um, is kind of uh, up in the air as to what I want. They haven't produced a lot of images on it. I haven't been able to find rules on it. 
Um, it just says it's got an innovative rotation mechanic. So that kind of tickles my fancy a little bit. That's kind of all I can go off of on these things. There's an anniversary box of Orleans. I love Orleans. Just want to check out what's in there. Pirates of Maracaibo is already here in Canada. Uh, I would like to give it a try if I can. From Dranda Games, Explorers of Navoria. This was a Kickstarter game and it's coming now out at Essen. It's just really cool artwork. Again, you know, I'm kind of a little fickle in that way. It's got pretty artwork. It's got a good table presence. I want to check out to see if the mechanics are also there to see if I want to find it here in Canada. Galactic Cruise is also a Kickstarter game. It's going to be demoed at Essen. Uh, hopefully it comes to retail, I guess. Uh, this will be demoed by Paul Grogan. And I love Paul uh, over at um, his channel. So we'll give that a check out. Over at Eagle Griffin Games, Age of Steam. There's another new expansion for it. Um, just want to check out all of the expansions in general. I don't have any of the expansions, so I want to know which ones to come back to Canada with and buy. Inventions I have played online. My friend just picked up a copy. We liked it. Um, it's just on here because I needed to remind myself to go check out the Eagle Griffins game booth. Coliseum is coming out with yet another reprint. The previous reprint sucked. Um, the artwork was just horrible. So this one looks like they're going back to the original type of artwork and hopefully the original mechanics as well. Uh, I want to see what they do with that. Unconscious Mind, another heavy Euro, cool looking um, artwork as well. Uh, is this a Vincent Dutrait? Because I saw it earlier and I was thinking, yeah, so it does have some Vincent Dutrait artwork in there, but this is a heavy, heavy Euro. Uh, and it looks like it's a huge box as well. So I won't be buying it at Essen, um, but I will be taking a look for it and see how it plays. Black Forest is a new game from Uwe Rosenberg. So I would definitely want to give that a check out. I watched Paul Groving once again, his playthrough on that. Give that one and check out. Love that. Uh, I have pre-ordered this in Canada. Zoomies, a ridiculous looking tile playing game of, of dogs eating the Zoomies. Just want to check that out. From Floodgate Games, two uh, kind of filler party games to check out. From Funny Fox, uh, Factory of Dreams. This is on my um, don't miss list. So once again, give that a check out. I keep saying that. Um, but this is like uh, Code Names meets Just One, uh, but the opposite part of Just One. And while I'm there, I just want to check out their Treetopia game. From Game Brewer, uh, they're having a huge sale. I do want to check out Bone World and Algae Incorporated. Both of these are coming to Canada. So I want to know if I want to buy them. Gate on Games, uh, Landomi, another tile movement type of game. Want to check that one out because it's uh, from a publisher I've never heard of. From Geek Attitude Games, Babylon here. This was the top one on my components list. I have listed this as I want to buy it. There is a pre-order yet. I've contacted them to make sure, see if I can grab a copy because uh, I want to buy it because it looks really cute. From Grand Gamers Guild, they have Pillars of Hercules is coming and Trina Nog. Trina Nog uh, sold out instantly at Gen Con apparently. Then they launched another Kickstarter to reprint this. So I want to see what all that hype is about. From Greer Games, Strange World. This is a small looking uh, card game. Once again, looking for small card games, kind of to fill up that empty space in my luggage. I already have a bunch of big games planned to bring back in my luggage. So we'll take that for a look. Mist Valley, cute little critters. Once again, tiny little game. Let's take a look. Railroad Tiles, I'm very upset about this one. Their Kickstarter just launched today. I took a look at it. It is horribly expensive um, compared to like Puerto Rico just launched and other Kickstarters that have launched. The price tag for this, for what it is, just it doesn't make sense to me. So I've asked them, why is it so high? Like, are, are these components quality different and stuff? There's not a lot of information on the Kickstarter page to know why this game is so high. I want to try it to see if I want to back it. I think the Kickstarter um, has time before it closes for Essen. So we'll check that out. Pocket Cats, another pocket game. Just taking a look at that. Cryptic Nature, a cool looking, um, kind of has Tetronimo. Sorry, not, uh, yeah, it has this like Tetronimo board here that you're building out, um, kind of like, but it's one communal zoo here. And there's tons of high quality components in this, tons of great artwork in this. Um, so it's a little heavy Euro type of idea. And you're gonna, there's two different boards here. So you can either travel around the board or you can work on your own board to end up creating enclosures for the zoo. Um, so 
that's going to give that one a check out. That kind of zoo theme is kind of going on there. La Habana is a reprint of Havana. I put this on the list because of pretty, pretty artwork. I just got Terminus, so I don't really have to go check them out, but I love Inside Up Games, so we're going to go check out their booth. That's on here. Jelly Jelly Games, Minecart Town is currently on Kickstarter. I want to see if I want to back it. I should probably back it so I get access to the project manager because I'm not sure when that closes. Chartered is another cute, no cute, it's not cute. This is a traditional beige euro, but I love my beige euros. But you are building out stuff, but I don't know what these components are going to look like. Are these cardboard bits uh, and stuff like that? Um, but I love when you're kind of building out a little city. So I kind of like the idea of this. So I want to check that out. I, I need a better word than check that out, right? Korea Board Games, once again, international game coming in. Amazonia Park, Arena Canizia game. So I want to look at that. Let's try not say check out. Copy Rush, I bought this game. It's coming this weekend. There was a pre-order for the expansion. I missed the pre-order. So I want to see if I can get the expansion while I'm there. And while I'm there, I'm just going to look at the other game label legends they have. Harmonies, already bought it. So don't really have to take a look at this one. Fall, this is another cute game that you don't want to miss out on. I think it just made off the list that I had put on. Uh, but Little Rocket Games is out of Italy, I believe. And so this is a two-player game where you are laying tiles and creating a forest floor. Forest Shuffle, I want to see if I want the expansions. I can get them in Canada. Lucky Duck Games is coming out with Toriki as a demo. So I want to take a look at that. It looks really neat. And Tranquility is a tiny little box game. So once again, small box games trying to figure that out. From Ludonova, Flat Iron. I have pre-ordered Flat Iron and Mennefer to pick up at Essen. Flat Iron, once again, this is on here because she and Isra are on fire. So I want to look that game up. And it's kind of got this three-dimensional look to it. So that's on there. Men Nefer, tons and tons of components. This is on my component list as well. So this looks like a nice big heavy roll. I love the Egyptian theme. So that's on there for there. Kyoto no Neko. This is a cooperative game with a cute little kitten that you are just going around Kyoto trying to uh, save the city, I believe. From Mighty Boards, Art Society. This is also Villain Canada. I want to check that out because it's Martin Wallace. Rebirth because it's Reiner Knizia. Mind Clash Games has a new game. This was literally added to the preview today, right before I started recording this video. So I know absolutely nothing about it besides that it's Mind Clash and I love their games. From Monolith Games, there's Tower Up. This is a, another game that's also available in Canada. So I want to see if I want to buy it, but it's got cute components where we are building these different towers of varying sizes. Uh, once again, love building a 3D presence. It's totally my thing. Agent Avenue, I did a review on that. Make sure you go watch it. Uh, so I'm going to pick up the final production copy so I can get rid of my ugly print and play version. Tree Society from Next Move Games. I, I love Next Move Games and previously Plan, G, plan B Games. I totally rebrand uh and eager spiel i haven't heard much from them lately though since they got bought by asmo day so i want to see what they've been up to from north star game studio they also rebranded their their name uh, so i want to see what their new game is all about from nuts publishing dilvium this game has a beautiful artwork going on at this board it's just so pretty like look at that that's so cute um you're it's kind of like, I guess, a 4X game, but like smaller, not as uh, extravagant of a 4X game going on there. Uh, and so there is resource uh, generation games over when all the resources have been picked up from the island. River of Gold, this is just on here. I already own the game, already did a review on it. This is on here so I can go check out Office Dog. From the op, everyone's talking about Gnome Hollow. This has a magnet me mechanic, and this magnet stuff is actually kind of going up in there. Stock exchange. This I thought this was going to be a small card game. This is a huge box. Um, so I want to go out and see what's in there. I backed Luthier. I want to go see their production copy. Or actually, it's not a production copy. I want to go see their prototype copy. Stevens, another heavy Euro game. This is being released in Canada through Capstone Games. Galileo Galilee. Told you it's on the hot list. Once again, there's Tomas. 
from Repros Productions, Fairy Ring. Uh, this is a cute little game that I want to check out. I keep I need I need a bigger vocabulary, people. Lord of the Rings Duel. This is a re-implementation of Seven Wonders Duel. Haven't played Seven Wonders Duel, but love Lord of the Rings. So we we'll want to take a look at that. Uh, we want to check out some queer content publishers. So Dick Sits, not to be confused with Dixit, uh, <laughs> is a, a cute little game um, full of these phallic looking creatures. Gems of Iridesia. I have been seeing this around the content creation scheme lately. So take a look at this one, though, is only for demo, only on one day from noon uh, to two o'clock. So this one is very, very narrow, so I might miss it because I have a very busy schedule lined up. Crap Rope's on here twice, so I'm gonna hit not interested, so that goes away. Scorpion Mask has the expansion for uh, Sky Team. It is available in Canada, but I pre-ordered it and then realized it was available in Canada. I could have saved like $4, so oh well. Uh, from Siam Games, this is another, um, this is from a Taiwan, uh, Thailand, I believe, uh, publisher. So uh, I put that on my don't miss list as well, because once again, those publishers from out in the Southeast Asia region are on fire. They're doing great stuff. I bought the loot bag, so I have to go pick it up. <laughs> Another uh, focus on women in history. Love the famous women in history. I love that. So this is from Murray Curie. Uh, it's a very simple game from Sorry We Are French. I want to give that one a check out. Space Cowboys love their games. So they've got Inori. Don't know anything about it, but it's Space Cowboys. So I want to check that out. Same thing with Stonemeyer. It's Stonemeyer. They're pretty popular. There's this stamp swap game. Let's take a look at that. Uh, not going to, I not don't have high hopes uh, here, but we'll take a look. Uh, Cyclades is one of the very first games I started playing, getting into more uh, modern board gaming and away from like that old school Monopoly type of stuff and party games. So I want to take a look at what's in the Legendary Edition. Middle Ages, I have pre-ordered. I have played it. I love this game. It's just so simple where you are going to gather tiles and build up this little network. Kind of very Seven Wonders-esque, actually, um, between the way the war works and stuff like that. So we'll get to look that under the sun on here because it looks pretty. <laughs> I'm fickle. Nestlings, cool components is on here. That's why. Uh, the bird theme, maybe not as much. We'll check out though. Uh, Cadillero on here because it's uh, got this cool uh, kind of walking in Burano type of aspect to it. Force and Pan Pangaea on here because of the awesome components. Mandalorian on here. I have this game. It's on here because I want to check out if there's any promos or any extra stuff and, and give a see if there's going to be new uh additions coming out that go over different uh scenarios because there's only four scenarios in this is a very small very short game canopy evergreen this is a successor to um i forget the name of it right now but it's a successor to another popular game uh so i want to check out weird city games vines and flowers cool 3d looking game i want to check that one out and finally from another game from uh korea wonderful world board games uh actually this might be taiwan where is one of our world board games from? But we don't have a lot of information on it. It's a Castle Razor game. It is a three-dimensional game. They had told me uh, of tile placement. So those are my short list. Tune in next week, and we're going to go over the top 10 most anticipated games of SN, the list that everybody wants to know. Uh, people have been correlating the data. So let's give it a look. Uh, Tell me what is on your short list for Essen, and we will see you next time. Like, subscribe. See you next week for that next list. And this week I have a video coming out uh, about Red Cathedral. I have to go film the B-roll today. So tune in next time. Bye-bye.